Oh, hello, you come to YouTube, you watch vlog. Okay, I'm not gonna do a stupid accent. Hi! <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Laramie on the Loose, you guys. Uh, I'm at Epcot, and I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna have some fun. Gonna, gonna, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do some C's with Nemo. And you know what? There's no real plan for today. I just wanna have a nice, relaxing day by myself at Epcot here. And uh, hopefully it doesn't rain on me, as you can see up there. I think we'll be okay. It's not in the forecast, but yeah, you know, I just want to chill, check out, maybe maybe show you guys some of the, the holiday stuff that's going on here at the parks. But other than that, I think I'm just going to relax, maybe go on a ride or two and, and get some food. Well, as I said, I think the first thing I'm going to do is seize the moment and ride this ride. I wonder if the same person that designed the outside of this building also designed the Art of Animation. Because this reminds me of the Art of An Animation Resort where all the fish are swimming one way, but they're more cartoony, but still, got me thinking. With just a few lights and a little bit of ambiance, Disney really makes you feel like you're under the water. I touched the butt. Not again! his revenge against King Triton for what he did. They say lionfish never tell the truth. You know why? I, I don't know why. Check it out, you guys. She just fed all the seahorses. Seahorse eye? Sea, seahorse. Seahorses. The, the, the pony fish. Wow, look at those starfish. How pointy they are. Those are crazy. When you wish upon a starfish, your nightmares come true. Ooh. Wow, he's moving. Here's a fun fact for you guys. Did you guys know that when divers actually go into the water when they're on the ocean, they sit on the edge of the boat and they go backwards into the water? You know why that is? No? You don't know why that is? Well, if we went forwards, they'd still be in the boat. Look at that cool shirt. That's awesome. Crush's Big Dude Surfing Company. 25 bucks. For those of you that have been watching my vlog for a while, you know all about jerk birds. And I think seagulls are the original jerk birds. Well, I think it's time I do something I've never really done and haven't, haven't really had much of an inclination to do, except for the past couple days, my throat has been killing me. So I want to go inside here in Twinning's Tea here and see what sort of tea I can find. Look at these awesome decorations here, man. This is so cool. I definitely feel like I'm in a in an old cottage of some sort. There you are. Thank Deep you so outside of London, like in the hills. I'm just, I have no idea. I've, I've never been to the UK. So I just asked a cast member what's really good for a sore throat and she didn't even hesitate. She's like, lemon and ginger. <laughs> oh, and it's got Bell on the box. Huh. I'm not a huge ginger fan, but I'm going to hold on to this one just in case. How much is it for a box of tea? I don't even know. One for six bucks. Other flavors of tea. Prince of Wales tea, pure Darjeeling tea, uh, 
gunpowder green tea? Wow. <laughs> Sounds like it's exploding with flavor. Just in case tea isn't enough, you can also do all sorts of different English treats that they have here. Like uh, like these penguin biscuits, which I actually tried thanks to someone I work with named Amy, who's actually from the UK. Thanks, Amy. <laughs> she gave me one of these. It was okay. It wasn't my favorite, but it was okay. You know, I'm looking at all these different types of treats and candies and stuff. I feel like I'm in Willy Wonka's. Because all these fun names. Look at this. Jammy Dodgers with raspberry and Galaxy Ripple. I don't know what any of these are, but they look good. Well, I did it. I got my tea and I got some Walker shortbread. Now I just got to go find a place to, to drink it. <laughs> I, need, I need water. I do love these little hidden areas in the different parks that you guys can find that aren't even really that hidden. Like this is just in the UK. That's the teeth, the uh, twinnings that I was in right there. And there's the, the main pathway right out there. People can just walk by all these beautiful flowers. And they are gorgeous. Look at this. I guess you could say Epcot is blooming with fun things to see. You could also probably say I'm a blooming idiot for all these puns. And then as soon as I cross, the main path out here. Look what I come across. A giant teapot. <laughs> uh, I need water. So I still can't believe it's December already. And to ring in said December, here at Epcot you can see the candlelight processional every week where uh, there's all sorts of, there's an orchestra on stage and then all sorts of singers singing and, and lords a leaping and, and, and celebrities are narrating because <laughs> there's a different celebrity every single week uh, i think uh, whoopi goldberg was last night i don't know if she's still here tonight or if there's someone else check it out you guys i did it i found my hot water and now i've got my tea in there doing its thing and uh don't worry guys the price wasn't too steep uh, and look at this i think i'm gonna enjoy my tea right here in japan or not Japan, I'm sorry, in China <laughs> by this beautiful little creek that we got going on here with the waterfall feature right under this bridge going down into this creek. It's one of those other, you know, just a, not secret, but just people just don't really walk back here that much. So I'm gonna enjoy my tea and my shortbread back here.
Oh, I got my melon frosty chasey though. Ch melon frosty chasey. I've got my melon frosty. I've got a chaser. There. Uh. Oh god. Oh, that's so gross. Grace, how can you like this stuff? Ugh. Well, it's not so bad with the chaser. Ugh. 